What we're going to do next is we're going to just uh, pull that wheel bearing out. And uh, there's a number of ways you can do it. The best way is to use a seal puller. What we're going to do is we're going to pull it right out of there. And, and watch that bearing doesn't hit the floor because that can damage it. Now we got the seal out. That's garbage. The bearing, what we're going to do with the bearings is we're going to take them over. We'll clean them up and we're going to have a quick look at them and inspect them. What we want to look for is we want to look for any anything we can catch our fingernail on on the bearing rollers themselves. Any pitting in there that's going to affect the operation of it. And we also want to get into the light and look at the inner race as well and look for any pitting inside there. We can give it a small spin test. You don't want to spin a bearing with compressed air because if there's dirt in there it could damage it. But just give it a nice turn and it should feel smooth all the way around. You shouldn't feel anything lumpy or bumpy. Otherwise the bearing will be changed. When you change the bearing there's a part number on the back. You also change the inner cone as well. And we'll inspect this inner cone here also to make sure that it's wearing properly. We want to make sure our tone wheel's good for our ABS brakes and not rusted or damaged. And that the bore that the seal fits in is clean. We'll get our new seal here. One of the things that you'll have to do is when you get a new seal, you're going to have to know the number of the seal. These are pretty standardized seals, so your parts department should stock them. But inside the seal here, we've got a, a number here, and then the number corresponds to the number on here. So we've got a CR47697 seal. And we'll just uh, look on the end of the package here, and it says right here, Right here, use tool 436. Now when you install these, you need to have a set of seal drivers from the company that makes the seal. We'll make sure we grab the right driver here. So we've got our seal out. The, it'll tell you oil side uh, or bearing side. It's written on here so you know which side the bearing goes to. So basically what you get here is you get the driving handle you get the driver, you get the bearing cones, various different bearing cones, and they just all do up together on this shaft here. This is nice because now you hold the bearing cone centered in the race so you can't damage the bearing case or the bearings going in. And you don't have to lay this great big 400 pound wheel down on its side to drive it in straight. You can leave it on its side and this will hold everything nicely and we just drive it right in. I wouldn't suggest putting anything on the outside of these because the paint does that. Uh, so they can go in dry like that. We've got the bearing lubricated here nicely. So um, we just fit that up into the hole here and that in to the hub and then we're just going to get that nice and straight in there, straight as we can. And don't worry too much about it if it starts to go on a bit of an angle. Just I find getting it started is probably the, the little bit trickier part here. Okay, so that's good. Now our seal's in. You can hear how it changed uh, when you uh, hit home. Now to check to make sure the seal's in good shape, what we're going to do is we're just going to turn the inside of it, the rubber. This is a unitized si style seal. On a unitized seal, the outside fits tight in the hub here, so it won't let oil by, and it turns with the hub. The inside of this rubber, it fits right on the spindle here, over here. And when it fits on there, it fits on tight. And now what you do to check it is you rotate the inner rubber 
like so. If it rotates, the seal's good. The seal actually wears inside of the house. get a lip type seal like in Stemco, the lip actually is stationary with the hub, or moves with the hub I should say, on the stationary spindle. And this edge here, if it's turning on the spindle, will cause a groove right in your spindle. So Stemco, they came out with a wear guard that goes on first and then this on the spindle and then the sleeve goes in. These unitized seals are very popular, very